All right, hello wine drinking people. Today is the 27th of November, We're getting ready for the freight train to hit here at Cafe at the Wine Watch and uh, you know, this the month of December just kind of blows by here. And if you notice the tasting schedule, well, not a lot of stuff going on other than this week we got one of the legends of uh, California Joseph Swan Vineyards at Cafe Max, our big champagne tasting, which I think we got 40 people signed up for tomorrow night. And then our vintage Madeira tasting going back to 1802 this Friday. Just have a few seats left for that. We always do. One of the most uh, mis underappreciated wines is Madeira and one of the oldest styles of uh, fortified wine. And one of my favorites, we always do a Madeira tasting every year. And then again in January with the same wines because it takes them... Um, Two months sometimes to open up. We'll be opening those up tomorrow night for a tasting Friday. And then a week from Friday, we've got our champagne tasting with Louis Roeder, including Cristal and Cristal Rosé, partying like a rock star. We just had an event on uh, the following week, uh, the 13th, with three legends of uh, the Washington State wine industry, Chris Figgins from Leonetti Sellers, Gramercy um, <clears throat> Sellers, and Drew Bledsoe, former NFL quarterbacks, Project Double Back Sellers. So that should be fantastic. We'll have the menu up on the website shortly. I don't know if I'll be for that, though. We just get crazy busy here in the month of December. And this is a property that we always do an offering on. We get every year. I buy Georges Comte de Vogue without even looking at the scores because it's one of my favorite wine. When Jean-Luc Pepin was in to do the great wine seminar years ago, I'll never forget the uh, the wines that we served. The Chambon Moussigny, their entry-level wine is phenomenal. But the Moussigny, the top wine uh, from this property, is just another level of Burgundy. And a vintage like 2010, one of the greatest blue chips you can add to your cellar because older vintages of this like the 2005, a similar vintage to 2010, and that it's going to be a really long-lived wine. Uh, doubles, triples, quadruples in price. The 2005 is now over $1,500 a bottle. If you can find it, there's only 3,000 cases of Moussigny produced in total. So that is the total production of Moussigny, not just George Comte de Vogue, but all the other producers that make it. There's only a handful. This is the largest landowner. And a little known fact about Moussigny, it's the only Grand Cru in the Cote de Nuit. Uh, that also uh, has a white uh, AOC, so you can call Moussigny Blanc uh, white, but, uh, well, George Comte de Vogue's the only one that has white wines, uh, Chardonnay vines planted at their property, and uh, they just replanted their vineyard, so it's just Bourgogne Blanc for the next 25 years until the vines get old enough to be called Grand Cru. And this wine is sublime. We don't have it on this offer, but we should. I will check to see if there's any available. Even at $200 a bottle, one of the greatest examples of a white burgundy that will ever pass your lips. And as I mentioned before, this uh, property, um, legendary in Burgundy, and as Charles Dickens puts it, uh, George, Domaine George Comte de Vogue is as old as the hills and infinitely more respectable. The Moussigny family, who gave their name to this famous area in the 14th century, kind of vanished into obscurity. Uh, the area where they lived later became known as Chambul, and around 1450, uh, they constructed a chapel there, and uh, the Vogue way did not appear until about 1766. But the family that owns uh, this uh, land has been five generations now, the same owners. And, uh, well, just in the last uh, 30 years, the new management has taken over. Uh, Georges Comte de Vogue, uh, the gentleman who brought this property back into prominence in the 70s, who passed away in 1986, uh, you know, one of the legendary figures in Burgundy. And he traveled back and forth from his home in Paris to the estate to watch the production and make sure everything was... Uh, you know, going as planned, but uh, the new people that took over this property, well, Jean-Luc Pepin was the gentleman that was here for the Great Wine Seminar, but Francois Millet, the enologist, and uh, Gerard Godot, uh, two of the top people in their field, and uh, like I said, this is a property that sells out every year on release. We only get three bottles of Moussigny now, that's it, and we have the cheapest price in the country on the 2010 Moussigny on this offering, and some of you may be saying, what the hell is this Shory de Bone doing on the table with Domain George Kopp, the Vogue Moussigny, and Chambol Moussigny, and these other legendary burgundies? Well, hey, I realize some of you cannot afford $150, $250, $550 for a bottle of wine to drink every day. So, to appease those of you that need everyday drinking burgundy, that love burgundy, we've just got a killer deal on this 2007 Shory Le Bone from Joseph Druin, a rather large uh, negotiant eleveur, and it's a rocking little wine. It got 88 points from the Wine Advocate. It is drinking at or near its peak right now for $13.50. Are you kidding me? You can't even find Bourgogne Rouge for that price. And we got a little bit of this Alex Corton in also from Bouchard, another incredible value at $23.75. Check it out. All the stuff from George Comp the Vogue and some everyday drinking wines for those of you that can't afford it. I'm your host, Andrew Lampasoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, 
always drink the good stuff first.